Arsenal Fan TV, I'm here with Bully. Seems like I ain't seen you for ages, mate. I know. <laughs> It felt like it was the start of a new season. We've been it's been that long since we were there. Well, if it was the start of a new season, an encouraging start. They played very well today. Very, very encouraging. I didn't want us to go too mad and score too many goals and use up what, for the rest of the season. <laughs> so, I was, but it would have been nice to have kept a clean sheet. Uh, mm. Pity saying they couldn't have put the ball out. Uh, they mm. let the cross come in, but that was the only thing that Sagna did wrong all day long, really. Uh, Fabianski thought his handling was superb at the back. The, the one that he caught where it was a straight shot, mm. I think Chesney would have probably patted that out and then mm. it would have been another goal conceded. So he can't feel bad about conceding the one, although he, he probably will do because mm. all keepers do. But, uh, I thought the whole team played for each other and played really well. Mm. Now, a player that's been much maligned a lot of people here don't like him disrespect him Jovino I thought today they found it very hard to cope with him yeah he was running all over the place he was pulling players all it, everywhere pulling the defence everywhere to open up the channels for the others this is what I'm saying about with Walcott he needs to learn to be able to do it. it's not what you do with the ball it's what you do without the ball to try and open it up for the rest of your players uh, and everybody seemed to be playing for each other I thought Rosicki for me, Emil Santi, man of the match, really. Um, it was unlucky that uh, Rosicki didn't score at the end as well, but uh, oh, it was really How, good. How's Vermaelen going to get back in that defence? I mean, Koscielny and Mertesacker are looking very solid. Oh, they're working together really well, and uh, to be honest, why change a team that is playing so well together and getting a better understanding? They're only going to get better the more they play with each other. So. No, it's, I look at that back four, it's looking strong now. It seems like strength in depth. You've got Gibbs who can come in from Montreal, went out. You've got Jenkinson and Sanya there. It's starting to look like a team late on in the season, but it's starting to look stronger. It's looking very promising now, and uh, hopefully we can build on this maybe bring in a, one or two players in the summer, one for the defence, one in the midfield, one up front, just to strengthen it a little bit more. And next season, hopefully, we can be challenging for quite a few trophies. Who, who, would, you, who would you say? What, what, what players would you look at and say, they're players that can make us challenge? I'm not, I'm not just on about top four now, I'm on about challenge Man United for that title next season. Well, to be honest, these players we've got here, if they really actually pull their finger out and have the right attitude, they are good enough. We only need some a couple of others just to help strengthen. So if we have any injuries like we, that we've had with Diaby this week, I feel really sorry for him. That, uh, he's had so much potential to try and live up to and every time he's getting injuries, but, uh, it's so difficult because we have got a good team and they are now starting to work together. It takes time for any team to gel. Mm. And, uh, OK, it's taken all season. For us, and we've had some good games throughout the season where they've looked good. But mm. I think we're starting to get there now. But Bully, it, you, st not, you, you, you don't think we need like two or three maybe world-class players on this? You, st you think this team could uh, take us to that level? Because you've got to think Champions League as well. You think that team could take us to the level that we're looking to get to? Uh, if they have the right attitude, they probably could do. But just a couple of uh, other players that like, might help um, is who we can bring in. Like, the problem is so many teams know we've got so much money in the bank that they're going to try and fleece us and get more money for players. So Arsenal's always done quite well over the years with buying players less money than and new, peop new people that nobody's even thought of. So let's just see what he brings in in the summer. No. And, and, and we, we stick with Arsenal. I mean, there's been a lot of people panicking this season. Get him out, blah, blah. No, you've got to stick with Arsenal at the end of the day. Is if he gets us back into third or fourth place, uh, we've had a good result today with uh, Chelsea losing to Southampton. And if we can still make it in there, why change it? Because if you change it, you're going to be going backwards for a couple of years mm. while the new person comes in and gets it to how he wants it. Mm. So Arson knows what he wants. It's just about getting the players to actually do what Arson wants them to do. Mm. Uh,